It was a long planning process. So when the town bought the land, uh, it was specifically for affordable housing, but that was in 2004. East Ham will soon have 65 brand new units of affordable housing. Ground has officially been broken for the village at Nosset Green, which will be located on the town-owned land on Brackett Road. The town purchased this land in 2004 to combat the shortage of affordable housing in the region, and this property marks an important first step. It'll take a big bite out of it for us. We have never had a development of this size. So what we've been trying to do for many years is do what they call scatter site housing, which is just sort of in, in one house here or there, and mostly home ownership instead of rental. So this is our first big rental project, and I think it's exactly what we need for young families, for working folks to be able to stay um, I've gotten a lot of calls from people who are related to East Ham residents. You know, my brother lives here, my sister lives here. So I think it'll be good. Does it solve our problem? No, but it is a big regional development and I think it'll be great for the Outer Cape. Affordable housing is a challenge that multiple Outer Cape communities face. Although located in East Ham, the village at Nosset Green will serve residents from across the region and neighboring towns have been active in the planning process. Wealthy and Orleans each contributed $100,000 toward the project. Officials recognize that access to affordable housing is necessary to ensure that the unique communities that make up the Outer Cape continue to grow and thrive. Communities that are vibrant have different types of people and they have different socioeconomic levels and they have and, and that that's what a community is if we get all over you know as I'm aging you know we're, we're all over 50 and we're all white and we're, we're all you know in the same economic bracket that's not an interesting community to live in so I think for many reasons we need affordable housing so I think we've made it look good, or well, we will make it look good, and we've created it in a neighborhood that I think is perfect for it, right next to the bike trail, um, attached to where post office and stores are, there's sidewalks, it's set back from the road, you can't see it from the road, there's a little park in front, there'll be transportation. So we've set it up as best as we can, but I think really how Penrose manages it, how the town welcomes and integrates these new residents is the next challenge, right? Because we will be getting all kinds of new people. 65 units of housing is a lot of new people, um, and they won't move in in the same month, but still, we'll have some work to do to sort of welcome them and, and get them accustomed to us. Yay! <laughs>